You're not actually blind, are you? Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Sure. Let me talk to Brooke and then I'm out of here. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? <laughs> I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently, it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. Hmm. Uh, again we meet, Brooke. This is true, Max. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. All right. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Hmm. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. I didn't. Cool. I even noticed the teacher sitting right here. She's probably going to tell me to go on. Oh, this is Miss... Wait, this is Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. Wait. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. Hmm. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Hmm. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I like her. She's nice. Real nice. Can't talk to him. Oh, this is just the back door. Never mind. Where was I? Okay. I'm just trying to make sure in my head, was there anywhere else I needed to go or like anything else I needed to do? Nope, don't think so. Make me beautiful, Hayden. I forgot I have to be in the same room with fucking Victoria. I hate her so bad. Alyssa. Oh, the rain. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Understood. So, David? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Hmm. Oh, it's Hayden. Hayden? I'm kind of doing something now, Max. I see that. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I'm pissed that you fuck. exist. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I'm sorry, slut, you said something. I will spit on those shoes, Victoria. Spit. Now ask for the both of you. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. 
you would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Asshole. Eat a dick, bitch. God. Where the fuck did they go? Oh. Seriously? All they did was stand over there? You know, I forgot to talk to Stella, goddammit. I can't even talk to her! This is making me mad. This is making me mad. The fact that I have to... Oh, wait. This was my desk. <laughs> This was where I sit. Never mind. That's Kate. What the? Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Okay, so he doesn't think... He's not actually stuck. Okay, well he is. But I'm saying, like, he's not actually stalking her. He's just watching her to make sure she doesn't do whatever he thinks she's doing. Hang on. Get up! What up, Max? Oh, what? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot I'm on still her plate. Black eye, I know what she's saying. She, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? I should choke you! friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Chloe. Really quickly. Um, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. Well, there were no bullets in there. Yes, it is. Stop asking. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today problem? we're studying here. Hang on. What? What? Speaking of participation, there are it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. A few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're hmm. studying Kiro Skiro. I guess Kate will miss class now. Between light and dark. I'm worried Shadow about her. Photography, such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. <sighs> Black and white images are effective precisely because okay, right, of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. That wasn't gonna work. That Dismissed. wasn't gonna work, and you know that wasn't gonna work. I love how Zach just came in yelling. What happened? What is it? Let me see. Oh no. Kate, please. Kate, please. Kate? Who is that up there? Oh no. Is that Kate? She can't die. She can't. No. No, no, Kate. Kate, fuck no. How did you even get up there? Now is not the time. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Something... Something's up. Something's wrong. I can't go get her. Uh, no. 
No, 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 no. Go. Walk. Walk, do something. Is Brooke dabbing right now? Keep going, Max. You can do it. Let me move. Gotta save Kate. Move out the way. Uh, I can't even see properly. Uh, move. Move out the way. Why are you running like you actually give a damn? Kate. Okay. Kate. Okay. What? Kate. Okay. Am I supposed to go in here? Oh, go to the roof. Kate. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. Kate. Kate, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, Kate. You gotta leave. Ugh. Run, Max, if you don't run. I know, I know it hurts. Just run, say something. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, oh, seriously, no. don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Things will get Don't better. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get, or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied too, but this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, no. you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What? Your, your sisters. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. 
Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. I don't know anything about the Bible. <laughs> Damn it. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! No! Kate! 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 No! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. No Officer Barry way. will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. Okay. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. <laughs> but there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. <sighs> no, hold on, I can't even think right now. I can't even think. I can't even think. Who the fuck is David? I'm trying to think and I don't even know who the fuck David is. Okay. No. I hate this. I hate this so much. And I can't even make a fucking climb again. <sighs> Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say, Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but 
I think I can use my power again. You. You. I can't even make a claim again. You know what? I'm doing exactly what I told myself I was going to do a second ago. Rewind it now. Skip this. This is for Kate, you asshole. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I've been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think... Court my ass. That is exactly what you deserve, you asshole. Kate's... Mm. Of course the fucking game. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. Good. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. No way.
No way. You monsters. There's a way to say it. Uh, God damn. After that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and rest in peace to Kate Marsh.